This Afghan mother of three left Taliban rule Afghanistan for her family's safety last year and moved to Pakistan. My husband was a journalist there. He worked for Americans, so we can't go back because his life would be in danger there. Soon, she may be forced to leave Pakistan as well. Halima, who asked VOA to call her by this name to protect her identity, is one of 1.73 million Afghans, according to Pakistani government data, who are living illegally in the country. Under a new government order, all illegal residents must leave voluntarily by November 1st. If they don't leave until November 1st, then all of the state's law enforcement, whether it's provincial or federal, we will use all of that enforcement to deport them. Taliban's Consul General in Peshawar told VOS Urdu service the decision could hurt bilateral ties. This hasty decision will negatively affect ties between the two neighboring countries. Though not a signatory to UN resolutions protecting refugee rights, Pakistan is home to over 4 million Afghans. Most arrived in the last four decades or were born to refugees in Pakistan and have paperwork legalizing their stay. But those who arrived after Taliban's 2021 takeover of Afghanistan largely lack permits. Halima and her husband arrived on valid visas, but their latest extension request was denied. When I go outside, I am lost in my thoughts because I don't have a visa. My husband doesn't have a visa. What should we do? If the police come and arrest him, what will I do with my three children? Pakistan's decision comes after months of deadly terror attacks. Officials say evidence shows Afghan nationals were involved in several. Human rights groups and the UNHCR have urged Pakistan not to force out Afghans seeking refuge. But Pakistani Interior Minister Sarfaraz Bukti says his country is only implementing the law. The concept of the nation state is that illegal practices, illegal means, are not promoted in any country. We won't allow that either. In a message on X, formerly Twitter, Afghan Taliban spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid said Pakistan's behavior against Afghan refugees is unacceptable. But the Taliban control Afghanistan is not acceptable for Halima and her neighbors, who are banned from studying and working there. Our lives are in danger there. Our lives are in danger here. Our lives are ruined. With the clock ticking, uncertainty is only mounting. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Islamabad.